youthful, radiant skin, thick, silky hair. Who doesn't want to look as if they're straight out of a TV commercial? But when it comes to following common beauty tips, is what you see or hear really what you get? Are you buying into some dangerous myths about skin, hair, and nail care? Before you find out, be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to always stay on the bright side. Myth number one, wearing makeup every day is bad for your skin. It's not really makeup itself that's harmful to your skin, but some things you might be doing wrong. For example, if you tend to go to bed without removing your makeup, then you're bound to have skin issues. You see, your skin needs to breathe at night. If it's covered in makeup, it's not gonna get the oxygen it requires to renew itself. Besides that, most cosmetic products these days have UV filters, moisturizing acids, and protective properties that repair your skin and shield it from environmental aggravators. Go for the ones with these good ingredients. Myth number two, if the bottle says hypoallergenic, the product is good for any skin. The difference between regular and hypoallergenic cosmetics is that the latter doesn't include the most common allergenic ingredients, such as alcohol. So unless you're 100% sure it's alcohol that's giving you an allergic reaction, using such products aren't necessarily safer. In fact, the only thing that doesn't cause an allergy in absolutely any skin type is water. Before buying any new product, carefully examine the ingredients. Some of the most basic components can be dangerous for your particular skin type. Even organic cosmetics aren't good for each and every person. Myth number three, moisturizing cream doesn't prevent wrinkles from appearing. No, moisturizers won't get rid of the fine lines you already have, but they do prevent new ones from appearing. A moisturizer can't go deep under your skin into the dermis in order to repair the collagen. However, it will hydrate the top layers. You've probably noticed people with oily skin typically have fewer wrinkles than those with dry skin. So let your moisturizer become your anti-aging oil resource and combat at least one wrinkle-causing factor. The most important thing is that the cream you're using provides UV protection and has vitamins and antioxidants in it. Myth number four, your skin gets used to the cream you're using, so it stops working. If you've heard this myth, it probably made you experiment with different face products in hopes of getting them to work for you. In fact, the ingredients your skin once loved will always be just as powerful. If they stopped working their magic for you, the reason must be in your skin itself. An oil-free cream that used to work for your oily skin all the time won't cut it anymore if your skin is now the dry type. Your skin type and condition can change depending on so many factors, like the weather, stress, and aging. So unless you feel the need to try new skincare products because the old ones don't bring desirable results, feel free to use your favorites for as long as you want. Besides, sometimes switching to a new cream can be stressful for the skin. Also, be sure to adjust your skincare routine for different seasons. In the summer, it's enough to put on some cream to maintain an optimum pH level. But as cold weather approaches, your skin needs additional moisturizing elements to protect it from the drier air and harsh winds. And no matter what the season, you should always wear SPF. Myth number five, you should apply moisturizer from the bottom up. Many people believe that there are special rules for putting the cream on your face and that rubbing it in a certain way will enhance the effect of the product. Sure, there are rules in skincare. You should wash your face with lukewarm water and the right facial cleanser for your skin type. Then, splash it with some cooler water and apply your toner with a cotton pad. Next would be your eye cream and serum if you use these products. The final step is squeezing out a pea-sized drop of moisturizer and rubbing it all over your face. But whether you do it from bottom to top or in circular motions, the end result is the same. Just try not to pull down on your skin. Oh, and never forget about your neck. Myth number six, drinking plenty of water reduces the appearance of wrinkles. This myth was made popular by celebrities who swear that water is their secret to amazing red carpet looks and permanent youth. In reality, there's no specific evidence to back up the claim that water slows down skin aging. When the upper epidermis cells die, they don't absorb any more moisture from the inside. 
Yes, water is great for you, and you should definitely choose it over sugary sodas and juices. Unlike the sweet fizzy stuff, water won't give you acne or excess weight. However, it doesn't reverse time, and it won't erase your wrinkles, even if you drink way more than you normally do. Myth number seven, facial exercises will help you get rid of wrinkles. Your face is the only part of your body that has muscles directly attached to the skin. Constant stretching and exercising them will not help smooth out existing wrinkles. In fact, working out the muscles in your face can pull and stretch facial skin. I mean, just lift your brows. Do you feel your forehead folding into wrinkles? Exactly. Doing facial exercises does have its benefits, but it does not reverse aging. Myth number eight, staying in the sun will help dry out your acne. Oh yes, the sun does dry your skin out, but your skin's natural reaction to such torture is to start pumping out even more pore-clogging oil. Not to mention, a 2018 study at Harvard Medical School showed that prolonged exposure to the sun without protection may cause sun allergy, which in turn can lead to acne breakouts. Myth number nine, a beautiful tan means healthy skin. Your skin doesn't react to the sun by becoming darker simply because it's getting healthier. In fact, this is your skin's way of trying to protect itself from the damaging rays that you're letting invade it. Ultraviolet radiation messes with your DNA, which is why it can cause skin cancer. It also drastically speeds up skin aging. Dr. Roxana Donashu of Stanford University's School of Medicine explains that there's no such thing as safe tanning. Any tanning means killing your skin cells, so put on sunscreen and limit your exposure. Myth number 10, removing moles is dangerous. A mold is a pigmented formation on the skin. They come in different shapes and colors, but most moles are perfectly harmless. However, certain external factors can cause them to degenerate into melanomas. In that case, any moles that look suspiciously like skin cancer should be removed. This procedure is completely safe when done by a medical professional. Myth number 11, using ice cubes on your skin is good for you. Directly exposing your skin to really low temperatures can actually harm it. Ice can disturb the blood flow, causing swelling and the appearance of spider veins. It can also damage your sebaceous glands, which can lead to dryness and a loss of elasticity. Plus, there are so many facial care products that can help your skin a lot more than ice can. Myth number 12, trimming your hair will make it grow faster. If you get rid of split ends regularly, you'll definitely make your hairstyle look better and reduce hair breakage. Still, hair grows at the same rate, about a quarter of an inch each month, regardless of how often you cut it and whether you cut it at all. And that's because it's the follicles in your scalp that determine how fast your hair grows, not the dead ends. Myth number 13, you should brush your teeth after every meal. Brushing your teeth immediately after eating is not only useless, but also harmful. Recent studies by the American Dental Association have confirmed this. Acid, which enters the oral cavity with your food, eats into tooth enamel and contributes to its erosion. If you regularly brush your teeth within half an hour after eating, you'll destroy your tooth enamel much faster. Myth number 14, nail polish is bad for your nails since it doesn't let them breathe. Nails are basically dead cells. If the nail plate could breathe, then nail polish simply wouldn't stick to it due to high humidity. Dermatologist and nail expert Dr. Dana Stern explains that nails do not require oxygen since they feed through capillaries in the area under the cuticle. Did you believe any of these myths? Tell us in the comments below. Remember to give this helpful video a like, share it with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.